So, welcome back to Al Nahoodi. This is the second video of the channel. Uh, today's uh, tipple of choice is a lovely honey blended Tennessee bourbon. Now, I'm not sure if I can say the name on YouTube, uh, but it's very nice. And if it's good enough for Father Christmas, then it's good enough for me. First of all, I want to say thank you, though. Uh, I'm really quite amazed that. I'm only on my second video and I've already passed the 100 subscribers and I think upon last looking I was past the 150 subscribers so I really can't thank you enough. Uh, I've only done one video uh, and I'm just blown away by the response. Lots of left comments, uh, they've liked it, some have not liked it but hey how are you entitled to your opinion. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, and that's it really, I'm still doing the ears uh, because that's the way I am, I'm afraid. Hopefully, the more I do this, so the, uh, I'm doing it now, <laughs> the, the better I'll get at it. So obviously, if you couldn't tell by the introduction of the video, this is about what I have received for Christmas from my lovely family, uh, my beautiful wife and children, uh, the cat, she got me a present, the mother-in-law, uh, and I have got some money, so I may buy some more. Uh, but this is a Christmas haul uh, of presents I got. So let's start with presents from the lovely wife and children. Uh, there's some non-railway -rail related uh, presents. Uh, one of these is a uh, strobe light. As well as uh, model railways like to go running. To keep fit, so obviously she does care about me. She doesn't want me to get run over at night time. So she's bought me a strobe light. So hopefully, with that, I'm not going to get run over. She's bought me a weekly desk pad. And that's in a style of a London underground. So that's going to keep me busy. So it's got all the stations on the back. She does like her stationery though. So she's trying to inflict that on me. <clears throat> she also bought me this, seeing as it's the second video, a blogger's journal. So I can keep a note of everything that goes on. The cat bought me, yes, that's right, you heard me right, the cat bought me this. Now this is a Fala Aldi, uh, it's a HO. And it's model number 130339. You get the trolleys, you get the signs, and what I intend to do with this is I intend to kit it out, obviously not with aisles, or possibly with aisles, uh, but with lights on the outside, security lights, security cameras, uh, and do a complete car park uh, with cars and, and trolleys and such. Uh, but what I did with this, I actually bought this myself, and I managed to get hold of the wrapping paper which again is uh, London Underground. So that was being used by my wife to wrap all of my presents. And I secretly wrapped this and placed it downstairs so that she had no idea when I opened it. And the look on her face when I uh, brought it out was like, I don't remember getting that. So that was quite, uh, quite good. But the main present, and like most people, uh, I've seen a lot of videos recently been updated and uh, sorry uploaded by uh, by by users uh, saying that they've got one of these so I wanted this from the first time they were released now I'm quite glad that I didn't get one of the first ones because uh, there were obviously problems with it uh, there was uh, problems with the transfers uh, so to be fair to Dapple, they did a free replacement where you could send it back in, get it replaced. Uh, and also there's a, a difference with the wheels. Uh, th there's a, a wheel transfers on, on the new one, whereas on the old one there isn't. So I've, I've waited for the second release and it came out. I got it from Rails of Sheffield. And uh, I am just... Oh, words can't explain how good this model is. I'm not going to do a complete review because there's, to be fair, there's better reviews out there on YouTube. Uh, and maybe the more I do this, uh, the better I'll get at doing reviews. But I'm not going to go into great detail, but 
I'll show you the model. So obviously it comes in what people are calling the block of ice. Uh, <clears throat> with this model, I have bought the uh, astute uh, DRS livered. If I can get it out. You get the uh, the extra name plates. Obviously, you get an extra pack full of uh, detailing. And here is the model itself. Now, the detailing on this is quite literally just fantastic, and it's heavy as well. Not that I want to drop it, but it's the DRS. It's the astute. It's got independent cab lights, uh, directional lighting, halo lighting, uh, sprung buffers. It really is just a, a fantastically detailed uh, and great model. Uh, and look at the instructions. They recommend a six function 21 pin uh, decoder to uh, make sure that you get the full capabilities of the, of the loco. If you go for a four function, then some directional lighting and cab lighting or the halo lighting is combined. Whereas if you go for a six function, then you can utilize all the lighting independently. Now the detailing it is just, oh, it's just wonderful. One thing, however, I did want to demonstrate is just the, the, the sheer weight of the, uh, the Dapol locomotive. Now I've got three locomotives here in front of you. I've got the, the newly bought Class 68, I've got a Hornby uh, Reva Wales Class 67. That's a Bobo. I like that word, Bobo. And I've also got the first locomotive that I ever had as a child, which is a rather beaten up Rail Freight uh, BR logo. Uh, class 37. Now, if I put the 37 on first and show you how much that weighs, that weighs in grams, 290 grams. If I take that off and put on the Hornby Class 67, which admittedly is a new uh, locomotive and is considerably heavier than that Lima, uh, than that Hornby, sorry. So what was that again? That was 290 grams, 67 is six to eight grams. So 628 grams compared to 290, so that's double the amount of weight. So the 67, six to eight, class 68, beats it by just over 20 grams. No, sorry, 30 grams, that's 654. So 654 grams compared to one of the first releases or well, the first loco that I had, which was 290. So that is over double the weight. And you can tell, you can just by picking up the loco. It's evenly distributed. This is gonna run beautifully. Once I finally get a chip for it, but I can't wait to get this on, uh, on, on the layout once I've built it. I tested the model uh, and it's DC mode on the DC uh, mode on the controller. And even in DC mode, it, it, it's so smooth. It's, I really can't explain how, how chuffed I am with it. Uh, Dapple have done, done great with this one. Uh, hopefully there'll be more to come from Dapple as well. But it, it's smooth, I can't wait to get chipping it. Uh, I can't wait to get it on the layout that I'm gonna be building. So moving on, presents uh, from the family. I got this which is a modern uh, bus shelter by Hornby. It's on the Scaledale range. So I actually haven't actually opened this up yet. So let's have a look inside. Oh, polystyrene. Ooh. These are quite expensive for what they are. Now I have also got some from Ten Commandments model. Uh, so I'll have to compare these. 
but it's a feels like brass or some kind of metal perspex windows but that's a, a cute kind of item i also got two uh, oxford diecast models i got one of the uh, four transits uh, the network wheel it's a short wheelbase uh, that is actually called the, the four transit short wheelbase low roof network rail so that's a cool model So I can add that to my other fleet of network rail. Obviously everything uh, is modern because it's modern era that I'm doing. Hence a modern bus shelter. Uh, I've also got a network rail British Transport Police uh, transit van. Now I think these are the CCTV vans. Uh, oh, it's also a NPR equipped automatic number plate, but that's uh, British rail, uh, British Transport. And that one is code 76FT026, a full transit long wheelbase high network rail speed camera. So that's kind of cool. Now you'll notice I have two packets of the Pico overall roof. Now the mother-in-law made a mistake and ordered two. So two arrived. So she put both in obviously. I'm not complaining because uh, the more the merrier. Uh, I need lots because obviously... If we remember, over there is where the station is going to be. Uh, and I need canopies uh, to go over the platforms. So those two can go with the two that I've already got. So I'll have four canopies, so I've got a lot of building to do. Uh, but I will hopefully do a video uh, of me unveiling uh, the kits and doing a step-by-step uh, -step on, on what I've done. There are videos out there uh, about the Pico overall roof, about rusting it up or, or changing the colours, uh, especially the pillars because they're quite plasticky. Uh, so I want to make sure that it's weathered properly. Lastly, it's not technically a present, but I wanted to just show you, and some of you probably be thinking, well, there's no present there. But these are the uh, plastic uh, packaging you get from from toys and stuff like that. So all the kids' toys I managed to salvage. Not all of them actually, they, they ripped the majority actually uh, to, to bits to try and get the toys out. Uh, but the bits I did salvage, different thicknesses, I intend to use uh, for all the scratch building that I intend to do. So it's quite, quite a big sheet there. So instead of buying uh, Perspex sheets or uh, laminate sheets for wait, maybe three quid a sheet you've got windows here which you can make out of packaging which was just going to be thrown away anyway so that's the first hack of Alna Hoodie Central keep hold of your kids packaging if you can use them for your scratch building but I wanted to thank yourselves for subscribing to the channel and liking it and commenting it it's been great really considering I've only really put one video up and I've got over 150 subscribers. The railway community I've always found are very friendly. If you need advice, there's always people to go to. Uh, I'm happy to give you advice. It's a wonderful hobby. Remember, if you want to see more videos, like and subscribe. There's a Facebook uh, group, uh, a page called Alden and Hoodie Central. Subscribe to that if you're on Facebook. The next video will hopefully be not too long in the distant future, but it'll be about these things here. No, not these things but these things, bus wires. So I'm hopefully going to be installing a bus wire all the way around the, the layout and I'll uh, take you on that journey. Remember, subscribe and like if you, uh, if you like the videos. I'll catch you all guys and girls soon. Ciao for now.